Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the program. We're going to talk a little bit about this Gibson Les Paul Jr. Okay, this is one that uh, first came out, I think, in 1954. They built it for students. Who knows what's going to be popular, right, before everything's said and done. Uh, but this guitar was very well designed just from a simplicity standpoint. And not to mention the fact that it doesn't weigh near as much as a typical Les Paul. So that's one of the things I like about it. So uh, it's got a mahogany body, a mahogany neck. It's got a nitrocellulose uh, lacquer finish on it. Uh, it is uh, uh, a 50s vintage profile. Scale length 24.75 inches. Uh, the fretboard material is rosewood. And uh, the fretboard radius is 12 inches. The number of frets 22. They're medium jumbo frets. I find them quite comfortable. The, it's got a Graph Tech uh, nut on this thing. It's uh, The nut width is 1.7 inches, which makes it a little bit friendly to finger style. So I kind of like that for an electric guitar. Uh, so the inlays are acrylic dots, and uh, it's a finished nickel hardware on this. The pick guard comes in black. It says that they also produced it in a tortoise shell, although I didn't see one. Uh, I ended up getting one with a black pick guard. Uh, the control knobs on it for the volume and the tone, those are top hats. Uh, the electronics dog-eared P90 on this thing. And which, by the way, has a really nice growl to it when you really dig into it, especially, you know, on your on the when you put it in on the dirty side of things, it uh, it really really has great sound. I'm going to put some clips in along the way, and and uh, and I'll tell a little bit in the text box about uh, what what position we're in, what we're doing, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's about it on the specs, I think. Nice guitar. It's got some scratches on the back of it. They told me it was brand new and they shipped it to me like that. You're not probably not going to be able to see them in the video, but I'm not huge fans of uh, American Music Supply up in the Northeast. Uh, they, after I left them a comment about this, they never once got back to me or even tried to after I bought it. They listed it as brand new. Clearly, it had been it had been played. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it had been played a lot, but enough that somebody scratched it up in the back with a belt or a shirt with some metal buttons on it or something. But uh, that's not the end of the world. It's a nice, nice guitar. I really like it a lot. It's a very retro-looking guitar. It kind of reminds me of the first electric guitar I ever owned. And I don't even remember what kind it was, but I do remember that it was kind of small, and I, I really liked it a lot. Uh, I, I don't know if I showed you those Cluson tuners or not, but, you know, typical Gibson Cluson tuners, and I think they're pretty nice. Uh, you got two strap buttons on this thing. It's pretty lightweight uh, overall when you compare it to a Gibson Les Paul uh, Classic or Deluxe or whatever, whatever you may happen to be getting. Those tend to be a little bit heavier. And so that's one of the things I like about it is the lightweight on it. Anyway, uh, we'll get to some video and uh, of, of me playing the guitar through a couple of different amps. Talk a little bit about that. And, uh, and hopefully you enjoy it and it gives you some sense of some of the things you can do with a guitar. Again, I, I don't like a thousand knobs and I don't like 50 pickups. I, I like simple. Uh, I'm a huge fan of simple uh, guitars just about everything in life. The more simple I can get it, the better. I, I don't play in bands anymore. I haven't played in bands in years. So really, I picked this up so that uh, I just have something to enjoy that kind of took me back a little bit. And this one does. And it's relatively inexpensive guitar. Uh, it's actually about, I think around, uh, I think I paid about Fourteen fifty for this one, and uh, so the, you can you can pick them up new for somewhere in that general vicinity. It comes with a beautiful hard shell case, you know the brown Gibson hard shell cases uh, that's lined, and they're very very nice cases. So overall, 
This is a, a, a really, really nice guitar, very easy to play up and down the neck, and I liked it a lot. So I'm going to throw some video up uh, before we wrap things up, okay? Here we go.
right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you've got any comments you want to make, uh, do you own this guitar? Have you ever played one of these? I really think a lot of these guitars. I just, again, I love the simplicity of them. And they sound really good. When you put a P90 in it, yeah, it's got some bite. And fortunately, this one comes with a P90. So uh, it's all good. But anyway, I appreciate you joining the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. God bless. We'll see you next time.